excited, kitten. Um, all I've done is uh, use the restroom and make give some attention to kitties. Also copied the saves. All right. We didn't use any items, so bye. By the way, I did actually check the tavern um, last video. There was no change. Oh, right. I was going to check to see if I actually have the ability to leave. Hold on. The answer is yes. So we are going to do this battle without being a Vandalier because seriously, it would just the final battle is going to be a joke. Yep. This is a nice callback from um, the very beginning of the game, where you had the Crimson Guard that were attacking random um, rioters. In this case, you have random monsters attacking the Crimson Guard in the same way. Help, help us! Tell us, what's going on here? Counselor Dolph took the flames of judgment and holed himself in the Great Temple three days ago. He said something about a magic ceremony to destroy the rebel army. After that, powerful monsters appeared and nearly wiped us out. This country is finished. I'm GTFOing. Okay, what the hell is going on? I think I know what happened. Powerful negative forces wielding the flames, and the resultant dark energy has created a vortex to some dark and evil dimension. I think. Exactly. Zeno, is this what you wanted all along? <laughs> My heart has ever yearned to know. To what heady heights a man may climb have he but the will and the power. Teacher, I will not let you stop me from... I will not let you... No, I will not allow you to stop me from my dream. Sadly, we don't get the Xeno music on this battle. So, our objective is to kill Xeno. There's a hidden object. Uh, there's one there, and... One over here. Yep. Here. That's it. There's also um, loot for killing Xeno. Because, yes, we are finally fighting Xeno. Who is level... That's right. Xeno is the highest level member... Uh, character. It's level 34. Xeno has dark fire and explosion. And is absolutely an offensive mage. And is very squishy. But Mega Guardians, on the other hand, are not squishy. He's got a couple of them nearby. There's also a Mega Basilisk. Dark Mage. Bahamut, because, you know, why not? I mean, they made the sprite for Salamander. They might as well palette swap it. There's also a Reapers. Yeah, that's about it. So there are no archers. No, no, that's right. No, these do Coopers are archers. There's no healers. That's what it is. So we just have offensive folks. So... Yeah. And yes, they positioned that light pole where I could not one-shot the Salamander on turn one. Or Bahamut, excuse me. Bonk! They also have gobs of hit points now, so I can't one-shot them easily anyway. Notice, Kira's still actually getting XP, even though she's level 29. Okay. Um, so the Dork Mages are a problem. How far do you move? You can move to here, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, you can't currently hit me, but if I move Dolan at all closer, you can. Cool. Yeah, you're gonna be targeting Diego at the moment. What about this dork mage? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. As long as I don't go any further than 
era. Oh. As long as I'm below the line there, I should be fine. But like here is actually an acceptable location as far as I know. So I'm gonna actually move here instead. Or no, I'm moving here. So far, you're taking the other side. Actually, I mean, if they waste the Dark Mage on Zohar, that's their own problem. They're probably going to go after Ash, especially when I'm going to do what I'm about to do. No, this is the point where I think I'm safe. Nothing left in this game is going to be particularly hard. Oh, you actually can reach from back that far. I didn't realize Evil Stream had that long of a range. Well, I might be reloading already. Nope, I'm fine. Assuming the other one can't reach. That long of a range is possible. Nope. They're going after two. Okay. One of them's a mage, so I really don't care. Reaper cannot reach, as I expected. Basilisks. Oh, that Basilisk can reach. I did not realize. Eh, it's only 42 damage. I'm fine. Oh, we've reached the end game at last. Long last. We must win, even if it means our deaths. Uh, you're wrong, Eamon. We fight to live. If we die, what good is our victory? Yeah! I won't forgive you if you die. Um, does that mean... Not now. You can think about it once we live through this. Aw, yeah. The shipping has finally come in from Eel and I. Just Eel and I. All right. First off, we've got problems. We've got trouble with capital T. Which is why I'm gonna have to salamander everything over here. Yep, this is, looks good. Elani is squishy, so I am gonna have to watch out a little bit, but I'm generally fine. I forgot to save, I should have saved. And you'll notice salamander's not doing all that much damage anymore. Only doing 51. Their attacks do much more than mine now. For magic. But, Salamander's still a good I want to damage everything spell. 50 XP. Heal and I is now on level 29. It also makes it a lot easier for us to squish things. Okay. Um... Let's wave them. I can't believe healing wave costs so much MP. So unbalanced game. You can see why a lot of people don't like Monk Slash Ninja class, because they're weak. They seem even weaker in this version. Oh, 
often can I do that? Once, right? Yeah, once. I mean, I kind of want to. So I'm gonna... Let's get the other Dargons out. Way more damage. And you're now also 39. 39? 29. Die? Yep. So this is the thing that happens in Vandal Hearts. At higher levels, magic becomes mostly useless, and you're basically only using melee attacks and everything. You're at seven. Ugh, annoying. I was hoping to be able... Well, I can't reach that mage, but I was hoping to be able to take out the Basilisk. Now I'm going to have to choose between the mage and the Basilisk. Pretty sure I'm going to choose the mage. Which might suck. Die. Frog build up. Drugs 28 now. So we're down to Clint and Eamon? Nope, just Clint. Right, Eamon leveled up last battle. Uh, you're not going to be able to reach Jack Squat. You're just not really... Yeah, you'd be adding an extra target to an AoE spell, so... Actually, wait. Maybe Ash can take them out. That's an eagle range, isn't it? Oh, easily. A reaper is going to be the problem. You get carried off by a reaper, uh, an eagle. Bye. Okay. Hux, you are going to heal Dolan. You'll probably be back here, actually. Ultra healing. I don't suppose anybody else is even injured that I can reach. No. I don't even think there's anybody else injured. There we go. Dolan's feeling better now. And... Dolan, you get to finish that dude off. Diego. Yeah, we're going to go after the archer. That does leave a sword person available to attack squishies, unfortunately. I'm going to guess I'm going to have Zohar with a knife in the back. And yes, I know I still need to pick up the item there. Yep, I am correct. This could hurt a lot. Okay, that's not too bad. Damn, you do 70 damage on your melee attack now? Ugh. Yep, you're attacking Zohar. My concern is that Zohar is dead from a ranged attack. Okay, you can't reach so far. You can only reach Eamon. And Eamon blocked anyway, so. Next turn's gonna be the problem. We have woken everybody up but Xeno and the Guardians. Kira, if we survive this war... Uh, what? I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear you over the sound of how noisy my machine is. Um, nothing. I said be careful. Yeah, you too? They're 
gonna bone! Anyway. Okay. Only person injured is Zohar at the moment. That's easy enough to fix. Wave. Really, I just use Sarah as a more mobile healer, but at this point, I don't need a more mobile healer. Sarah as a priest would actually be stronger than Sarah as a ninja. I mean, let's take a look. 113 attack versus 86 attack. That's the sole difference. Otherwise, it's defense 100 versus defense 123 versus defense 157. She doesn't... She's still squishy. So that's not helpful. Agility 115. Agility 99. Agility 125. So she actually has lower agility... The ninja has less agility than the Archpriest. Or Archbishop, or whatever the class is. This makes sense. Oh, that would be a terrible idea. I am thinking we should probably pull back a little... First off, die. Second off, we can shoot people. Wait, Diego, can you hit from here? You need to move up one. Now the question is, can I kill the other one? Or am I just gonna main? Main. Damn. Would've been nice to kill. Yeah, the most I can do is an avalanche, and that's not gonna be enough to kill that Cooper. I can avalanche to kill one of those. No, I wouldn't even kill them. So that's not gonna help. I think I'm just going to end up having to take two attacks. At least they're not that close to each other. Yet. Yeah. You found Wisdom Robe. It's actually what um, Xeno's wearing. Yep. So that was the reason why I was assuming that you would be able to, uh, whatchamacallit, um, go back after this battle. Um, you and I, I'd like you to be here. So far, I'm tempted to just life orb you now. You know what, why the hell not? I have tons of... MP, let's go. Or tons of money. Flint. Um... is a bit risky. We have to Dolan? What? Oh, because he wasn't facing the right direction. That's fine. Yep. This is why it's risky. It's because Clint could potentially be killed here. I think he's fine, though. I don't think the Bahamut's gonna do over 100 damage. Yeah. And nobody else can attack Clint. Yep, you're doing Dork Hurricane. And I don't think Xeno's gonna do enough damage. 
Xeno would have to do over 200, or 120 damage. Oh boy. Explosion! And single target, that might actually do enough. I'm alive. Everything's fine. Remember, I need to reach there before Zeno's dead. And Zeno has gobs of magic. Uh, I... Given that there's only three people injured, but they're so far apart from each other, I might just pop an ultra. Or a supreme. Yeah, because two of them are down really far. I'd have to get the two of them next to each other in order to be able to do an ultra heal. And getting them next to each other means that they're not useful in combat. So, yeah. We're just going to move you here. Magic. The Supremes. <sighs> so, how goes? Let's see, today would be December, the 29th of December for you. So... Cool. How's it going? I probably have a job by now, so we'll find out. But today, which for me is the 17th of December, um, I'm either going to be receiving an email late tonight, or I'm going to receive it on Monday with a job offer. So, yay. Although, most people watching this are probably monitoring my socials and already know that. Yeah, I know I can't one shot. But I can come close. But, you fool, you forgot something. You are squishy against Frost Dragon! Oh, I need to move closer. Need to move one closer. Now you are squishy against Frost Dragons. Roar! Yes, I know. I still have another mage in the corner. I need to deal with that. Here is probably going to shoot that mage. Doesn't do as much damage to those as I thought. Yeah, I know those are going to do jack squat to Zeno, but... Or dead. You know what else? Hi. Again, it's not going to do a huge amount of damage, but it's enough to weaken everybody. I think. Oh, damn it. They're not actually dead yet. I thought the ones in the back might have been dead. Be. That might be a reload. So, first off, you're dead. Wait, who has the... Isn't it the flyers that have an attack item on them? Yes, they do. I think they're equidistant. Yes! Time to use the Dragon Fang. Because you know what it is? It's not Salamander. Yeah. Because you're going to kill those two goobers. You're going to do decent damage to some mages. But the more important part is you killed those two goobers before they got to do anything. And you leveled up. Congratulations on reaching level 29. Alright. Now I can have archers go. Yeah, you can't reach back there. Much to my dismay. Um, Sarah doesn't need to heal anyone. How damaged are you? 
Ah, uh, Sarah might be able to kill them if she has enough MP. I don't know if she does. He does. So, Astral Fire to kill the mage. Death did. Which means Clint can kill Dargan. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Dargan. Clint finally reaches 28. Right? Yeah. And that means... Kira. Can you take out the other mage? You can. How convenient. Dolan, you're going to stay the hell back. Because I'm pretty sure you can get one-shotted. Darius, you're going to move up to... Uh, let's not give them too big of an area of effect. There. And Osh. Because I can, Eagle. It's not going to die for me. The mage I'm using magic against. Just getting some XP. Is that everybody? Yep. Alright, so it's just Xeno, and since Xeno's a spellcaster, Xeno will not be meleeing anybody. Yep. Dark fire! Oh, wow, that's slowing things down. Can't fast forward it. A lot of damage for an AoE spell. I mean, it's not as much as, you know, Frost Drakes. Okay. You have next to no MP left, so... I'll let you grab the item. <clears throat> Yep, it's another freaking golden axe. And you know what? Heal yourself. Why not? Ten. In two XP, but that's enough to level. Woohoo! Worth. Because whatever levels characters are at the end of this battle is their final levels, basically, because the next battle is the final bass. Um, let's see. Who is 27 still? Is there anybody still 27? I don't think there is. I mean, I might as well heal this bunch of goobers. With Pux. Ultra heal. Like that. <clears throat> I mean, it's free XP. You might as well, right? Not an insignificant amount, either. Alright, so... Who's lowest level? 28.7... 28.7. Oh, sorry. 28. Or, sorry. 28.3. 28.2. 28.9. 29.9. 28.4. 28.8. 29.29. 29.28. I'm thinking Darius if he's close by. He's close enough. Because Darius will actually level up from this. Nobody else will. <laughs> or not! You get to see his melee attack, which never happens. Alright. Uh, in that case, Ash. Oh. Yeah, you have slain me! That's his final words. You have slain me. Or yeah. But I found his rune wand. But more importantly, we win! Yeah, this was only a half an hour video. Look at all that money that's basically useless for us because we've used one item this battle.
Xeno was a man very much like other men. Mankind has ever had an insatiable desire for knowledge and truth. Our entire civilization was built on that desire. Well, anyway, we still got to deal with Dolph. We ready to attack as we were, Ash? No. Not yet. We need to resupply first. Also known as, we need to promote Ash first. Ah. Uh. So, I'm going to save it here. And we're going to end this video. And next time, the very first thing I'm going to do is promote Ash. And then you're going to see how ridiculous Ash actually is. Talk to you later, Nanette. Bye!